Hi everyone, welcome back to Super Mario 64 with glitches. In the last part, I did TikTok Clock, or TikTok Terrible as I appropriately titled the video. Don't like that level. I think in this video I'm going to go and do Tiny Huge Island, and there's quite a lot of stuff to say about this stage. I guess I will start off by saying that when I was younger this was probably my least favourite stage, and now as an adult I can't really imagine why that is when stages like TikTok Clock and Rainbow Raid exist. Anyway, so as you can see here, this first painting, the middle size one, is just a decoration. There's actually two here. Uh, a really small painting that's really close and a bigger painting that's like 10 million miles away and a lot of people get confused about the way the, the naming works for this stage um, it's actually the island that changes size that's why it's called tiny huge island so if you're in this painting over here Mario is going to be huge but the island is tiny so this is tiny island uh, I mean, that's like totally a pointless uh, thing to bring up, to be honest. Doesn't really impact what we're going to do in this video, but yeah. So, usual seven stars to get. I guess I'll probably do them mostly in order. I'm going to leave the coining to the last part. Great word, that, coining. Um, but the camera's really not your friend in this stage. Also, oh, cool, got a one-up. Not really sure how I did that. I mean, I think I just stood in like a spot that happened to... Happen to give one anyway. Um, you're gonna see me enter this level in this painting a lot because it's just so much quicker, like understandably, to get around when the island is tiny and Mario is huge. And whenever you go in one of these pipes, it actually will transport you to the other island. So the first star here, you've got to kill all these piranha plants. Uh, there's nothing really noteworthy about it, except for the fact that they give you two coins. Now this is important because. I may have to do a glitch later on in this stage, and I'm going to show off the glitch right now. Basically what happens is, you want to punch him right as he's dying. And if you punch him on like, I think there's like maybe two frames where this works. If you punch him just as he disappears, you'll still hear the death sound. Let's just try and get it, it might take me a few attempts. So yeah, I punched him even though he disappeared, right? He comes up and you hear the death sound. I can now punch him and get those two coins. Remember, it was this piranha plant, the one that's near the edge here. Let me jump in the pipe and reset the island by going back in here. And what we find is this piranha plant over here is back. I can kill him and he's still going to give me the coins. What this basically means is you can do that death glitch that I just showed where you kill him like as he disappears over and over again to get 255 or infinite, if you like, coins in this stage. Uh, I'm going to have to kill this guy again, but because I killed him normally, he's not going to give me coins again. But the point is, the point that I'm trying to make is, for regular coin collecting, this level is probably the worst because there's a lot of like bottomless pits and stuff. And uh, if you happen to miss some of the coins normally by doing that, you can sort of do this glitch as a backup to make up the difference. It's kind of cheap, but you know, hard level, don't care enough to, uh, to to do it with integrity, so I'm just going to do that if I have to. Now, there's, there's plenty of other stuff that needs to be said about this stage when it comes to coins, and I will cover that a little bit later on. For this star, the top of Huge Island, so I mean, that should be your first clue about this sort of nomenclature of the islands. Oh, that's another thing, by the way. Oh, there's a black ball of fuck. That's what you used to call them. It's just like a random bomb that appears sometimes. But anyway, I guess... Oh, oh, it was a butterfly. That's what happened. You punched them. But I don't think I punched it before. I think I just ran into it. And, uh, yeah, I'm getting getting sidetracked a lot here. Anyway, this should be the clue about the, the naming for the islands. Huge island. We know we're in the wrong one. Uh, what's in this? Just a one-up, I think. God, I'm really not doing too well right now about this. But that's okay. Let's grab this one up as well, I guess. I mean, why not? Also take this shortcut here, much like the one inside the castle to get upstairs. So, uh, yeah, I'm going to just jump in here. This will take me back to Huge Island, because the star that I want is actually just up here. I'm going to use the triple jump on slopes thing, like I've done a million times so far in this playthrough. God, my controller is not really doing too well right now. I feel like I maybe didn't activate the adapter, I'm not really sure. Um, I think I've mentioned this before, but like I'm actually using an adapter that uh, restores the N64 controls on the Virtual Console version of this game, so that it doesn't control like complete ass like it normally does. Uh, the biggest problem with it is like the stick is super sensitive, and there's like virtually no dead zone. And it, among many other things, it means that you can't sort of preserve your speed through a kick like this. 
uh, not as easily anyway, because there's virtually no dead zone and you need that. So I'm a total digression, don't don't really need to go on about this, but let's head back inside. So rematch with Koopa, you're going to find that a lot of the stars start out just doing this thing that I just did, where you just come up here. Uh, Koopa the Quick is in the huge island, and he is like really easy to kill. Kill? I mean, I guess I do kind of kill him, I never see him again after this, but anyway. So I actually have a video on my channel where I beat him with a... Uh, like zero on the timer. I'm gonna very quickly try to set this up. I don't think I'm gonna get it because it's uh it's not as easy as the one in Bob on Battlefield is, but what you wanna do is you wanna drop down a here and there's like a little Koopa and I'm gonna try and get him to run away from me. But oh, Jesus he's not doing okay now he is. And I want to kinda get him come on. A bit closer to the top and then I'm gonna kill him so that his shell is available. And what I want to try and do after I get back up here is I want to do, oops, I want to do this sort of text delay thing which uh, I'll explain when I get up here. So the shell is still down, oh shit. Okay, I'm not going to start the race so I can show this off but the shell should still be down there, right? I'm going to try and land on that in a minute. Basically if you do like a jump okay, it's going to take me a few attempts but um if you sort of jump on like the first frame you land inside his little zone where he talks to you, you can get out of it and... Let's see. Yeah, okay, so like this. He's now going to talk to me over here. Effectively what I want to do is do that and then land on the shell. And then I can make it all the way to the finish post without starting the race. And it means that when I agree to start it right there, um, I'll actually already be <laughs> at the end. So let me just try it. Okay, can we make it? Oh, God damn it! No, you know what? I'm not accepting this. I am going to do this glitch. It's too cool not to, even though long-time fans of this channel will have actually seen it on the channel before. It's been a while, so let me just make sure. Right, if I sort of go like this, I mean, I was very close to getting it there. Let's go for the double jump. Okay, missed it. As you can see, it is frame perfect. The timing. If you're even one frame too late with your jump, uh, it just doesn't work. So, is this gonna work? Cool, so I'm now on the shell, and as soon as I crash the shell, Koopa is going to talk to me. So I know where the end of this is. Also, this is going to be the 100th star, that's kind of cool. Don't crash here, I do not want to crash here. Don't do it, Mario. So the good thing about the Koopa shell is you can sort of ride on, on hills with it without falling off. Camera sucks, so I'll go into Mario Cam. And I will just stop it right here at the goalpost. And yes, I'll race you, because I know I've already won with a, a nice zero, 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 zero on the timer. Just something to point out about these big Goombas, you kill them normally, they just give you one coin. If you ground pound them, they give you a blue coin, that's going to be important for us later on. Uh, I guess I can show it how I've got time to kill. But uh, the reason I want to bring this up, I know a lot of people know it already, but it is kind of tricky to do sometimes if you're... Oh shit, don't don't fall off. If you're, uh, if you're like too late to press Z or Z, um, then uh, you, you may accidentally just kill him normally. Anyway, where the hell is this guy? What's taking him so long? Is it possible that doing this glitch means that he will never actually get here? Have I shot myself in the foot? I, I never knew this happened. I thought he did still get here just really, really slowly. I mean, he's, he's already really slow. But uh, I'm starting to think this might have happened, so let's have a look up and see if he's if he's moved. I mean, this is the sort of thing that would happen in Star Road and other Mario hacks where yeah, he's definitely moved. I mean, he sort of goes around this way. But yeah, like I was saying, um, in, in Mario hacks, this does happen a lot where they put the Koopa in and he kind of gets like stuck on stuff as he races towards the finish. And you pretty much need to reset. So yeah, I think the Koopa might have killed himself. That's not good. Another thing that sometimes happens is he can run off this... I mean, it doesn't happen in this game, but it might happen in a hack. Anyway, I'm, I'm rambling quite a bit in this video, so I'm going to leave this... Um, I'm, I'm glad I got to show off that glitch, but it has ultimately been quite useless. I'm going to have to go back and see if I can like reset the race, maybe if I uh, go in the pipe. So yeah, this is a bit of a learning experience, even for me. See if I can reset it now. Yeah, I think it is going to reset it. So the, like, the, the little Koopa is still there, which means that the big one hopefully will be there when I go back into Huge Island. Let's get a look and see... Nice, brilliant. That, that's another bullshit thing that can happen, by the way. Because if you sort of bang into them like that, you don't, um, you don't get the blue coin. You get the 
much crap here. Yellow coin. So there's a, you can sort of go around the island both ways. I'm just going to go the way that he goes, just because I showed I showed the other route with the shell a minute ago. So there's no need to do that twice. Uh, don't really know if I want to bother doing anything fancy. I might as well just bonk on purpose because that's totally what just happened. And. Uh, waste a bit of time. He, he's really easy to beat as long as you know where you're going. This is probably the only part of it here that's slightly challenging. You just have to hold up left instead of up so you don't fall off. It's not that hard. Okay, cool. So it's a 21-3. Not, not as good as my previous record of zero, but whatever. I'll take it. Just give me the star. And yeah, that's our 100th star. I can't really believe it. I'm gonna try and do this a stupid way as always. Kinda want to know what happens if you go in the pipe and come back out. I have a feeling that the star will not be there. I think it will probably just reset Koopa to his initial position, which would suck. Anyway, uh, that's three stars down. Uh, the next one's probably the hardest to do um, if you're doing it quickly. Five itty bitty secrets. So basically, every little opening, like the one that you see right there, contains a secret, uh, but not from this side, annoyingly. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to try and. No, I need to get this. I don't want to do the sort of normal way that I do it, where I like um, just uh, clip through the, the ledge over there. I want to actually, yeah, wall kick over. So there's the first one. And I can just come over to here. Uh, and the cannon is the second one. Got to be careful not to jump off of this ledge. You will die, which is not great. Also, I'm not going to talk to that ball bomb. I don't want to open the cannon. It annoys me slightly, actually, that the cannon is clearly open in Tiny Island, but when you go to Huge Island, it has a lid on it. Not happy. Anyway, the next one, which is a bit hard to, to... No, a bit easy to miss is that one there, and this other little opening that I'll be going into uh, probably in the next star. And uh, this one here you wouldn't normally think to go to, because it's not like an actual sort of thing that Mario can go in. It's just where the the bowling balls come out of, or the cannonballs I should say, don't fall down. And the last one is up here, there's like a little hole on the top of this. Anyway, kind of took a really long time to do all that, don't really care. And the star is over here, what you normally should do is, you can see there's like a sort of switch down there, just below the pipe, it's, yeah you can see it in the sort of lower right corner of your screen. Uh, you can skip that just by sliding down this and jumping at the right time. That coin right there is a bit of a pain, because uh, Actually, never mind. Don't, don't listen to me. It's totally fine. I'm thinking of something else. So, yeah, yeah, there we go. That was probably the worst star in the stage, casually, I would say. Or even if you're speedrunning. So, Wiggler's Red Coins. I'm not going to get this one right now. I'm going to leave that to last. And instead, I will head back up to the top of the mountain. and On the huge island, that is. And... So what, okay, I never actually showed this off, I probably should have. What you're supposed to do is, in Tiny Island, you go all the way up to the top. I mean, I realise I'm in huge right now, so what I'm doing right now is totally pointless. But you come up here to where the fifth secret was, you do a ground pound and it drains the water. Um, which lets you... Where is it? Is, is it even here? Well, there's like a little hole that opens when you do that, and you can get inside, and there's a wiggler inside. Uh, but you don't actually have to do that, there's a, a much nicer way to get in. So what I'm going to do instead is, I, I don't really remember if I've shown this up before, I probably have. If I haven't, you know, I probably will again in the future. Whenever you throw an object or like a chuck, yeah, something that's heavy like this, it pushes Mario back quite a bit, like really quickly, so I can use this to just wedge myself inside this wall and get inside the invisible water here. Just get the camera inside so I can see where the hell I am. Yep, okay, so now I can just make my way into this loading zone. And, okay, I guess it's slightly higher than I thought. Okay, cool, that's brilliant. I don't know why that didn't work. I guess maybe it was lower than I thought. But that's okay. Because it gives me the opportunity to show off another way to get in there. So, rather than using the chuck here, you can just sort of do this. Like, run at it really quick and then dive when you're on the wall. And if you do it at the right bit, he still warps in and I still manage to come out of the water. God damn. We'll get it eventually, it's it's not a big deal. There's no need to get mad over it. But I think, yeah, you've got to like do this sort of dive like close to the bottom of the wall, I think. I think that's maybe the weakest part of it. I don't know, I don't normally do this. Yeah, okay, I don't know why he keeps coming out. It's getting very mildly annoying, though. I really don't want to have to... Okay, I think it's because I'm pressing B too many times. I think once he gets in there... I should just like not press B anymore. 
No, I, I, oh god, I, I don't know what I'm doing wrong. I, I literally have no idea. But I'm too stubborn to like let the game win here. So we're gonna keep doing it. Probably just have to. Yeah, it's probably what I said about pressing B too many times. Okay, now I just did something really stupid and punched instead of dove. Right. No, I, I, uh, maybe if I aim for like this corner, maybe that will keep him underwater a little bit longer. Let's try that. Oh, okay, well that's not quite what I wanted, but it worked, so let's bring the camera in here again, hopefully, so I can see what I'm doing. This is this is great. I, I love video games. I love it when this sort of thing happens. Alright, so where is the thing? By the way, in, in a speedrun, they get this like super quick. Okay, so the loading zone was like actually down there, so that's fine. So you might be wondering, like, you actually can't get back out of here, I think. Let me just... Yeah, I can sort of wall kick and stuff, but nothing happens. You can't actually get any... There's no, like, loading zone. So there's coins up here. You might be wondering, do you have to get them at the end of the 100 coin star? No, you actually don't. You can somehow get these from below. I think if you, like, grab the grating from below it, you can actually just barely touch those coins. Anyway, three hits on the Wiggler's head. Nothing, nothing too difficult about this. There's a little buffer zone before you can hit him again. I'll try and show that off now. Like if I try and hit him like right away. Okay, well I failed it anyway because he gets pretty aggressive on the third hit. But if you try and hit him too soon, it just doesn't work. He's like invincible for a little while. But yeah, here's the here's the star, and there's just two more to get in this stage. They're both coin related, which naturally are our favourite stars. So yeah, let's see. I think I am gonna enter in this side just and try and clear out as much as I can over here before I do anything else and it'll also give me the opportunity to show off uh, something particularly cool about this stage which I'm sure a lot of you know about already I don't know why I'm grabbing this one up I definitely don't need it there's like a little baby piranha plant here um, what I'm gonna do first is take this path over god the camera is really awful Grab this coin, and right where the coin is, is a one-way warp, so I can get back. I say it's one way, so I can't actually take it back to the island. That would just trivialise the, the end of that other star. So I'm not really sure how many coins I need to have from this side of the level. I don't remember. Well, there's one thing that I'm going to have to get back with the glitch now. Yeah. I mean, this honestly, like... The okay, I think, like natively there's 192 coins in this stage or something and like really only 191 of them are obtainable. I'll just cover what I mean by that right now actually. So if you come over here, there's a coin there. You saw him pick up another coin even though he didn't look like he was. It's because it's inside the level and there's actually another one like right here. Let's see if I can show it off. Where is it? I'm trying to find the best spot for it. I don't really remember where that is. But um see yeah there it is there this is the impossible coin at least that's what we used to call it it's what we still call it really let's not be pedantic here but um it's been discovered sort of relatively recently maybe like a couple years ago that with some very very precise movements while you're out of bounds you actually can get that coin uh i am not going to be attempting this it, like i say it's it's effectively like tes only but um I mean, it's it just that's sort of been one of the big mysteries of this game for as long as I've I've known about it, or like known about the sort of uh, meta game, if you will, stuff that the average player might not know about. This has been a, a huge mystery for like a decade and a half or something. What the hell am I doing? Um, yeah, just wasting a lot of time, really. Got to remember that I've already screwed up one of the coins, and uh, I'll need to make sure to duplicate the piranha plant. But I mean, if this doesn't actually go well, I'm probably not going to show my other attempts at it. So, like, actually, wait a minute, does jumping in this reset these guys? It might do. Uh, it it doesn't. I think it, it does, like, help if they walk off the ledge or something. So that's two coins, by the way, that I now need to get from the, the Piranha Plant glitch. Really, really shitty of them to put coins in that block there. It's already bad enough trying to get these ones. Anyway, enough complaining. It's all mostly tongue in cheek though, I don't really I don't really care that much. Luckily you can't fall off the the border there. I think I did get that coin. I'm gonna assume that I did. Also, it's worth noting that when you kill these little Goombas, what the hell is he doing? Uh, it doesn't automatically kill their big counterpart. Well fuck it, god damn it. Okay, here's a better idea. Let's start on this side. And 
I will just do the speedrun 100 coin route, because this video is already getting kind of long. So, I'm not going to bother collecting all the coins on video, it's not worth it. We've already seen like pretty much all of the level anyway, just being careful to ground pound these guys. Uh, this post over here, if you run around it three times, you get uh, five coins from it, not going to bother. Just going to come up here and do some cool movements here to get up to here. And there's a couple more Goombas I can kill. As you can see, you do rack up the coins pretty quickly in this stage, because there, there are so many like big Goombas. I don't know why you could walk on that normally. Oh yeah, another thing. Um, there's like only four coins here. There is actually a fifth one. This has become the new impossible coin. Um, the reason you can't get it is because as soon as this level loads, it kind of like warps to the bottom of the stage or something. And even if you were to get down there, you would just die before you could collect it. But, uh, I mean, that's all very irrelevant because a, a real-time player, well, anyone actually, is never going to be able to get it, unlike the original Impossible coin, which now, funnily enough, is possible. Anyway, rambling a little bit, let's just crack on with this. Try and get this guy to come in a little bit, I don't like it when he's too close to the edge there. Try and get this one as well. Okay, cool, so these coins here really suck, you want to just try and slowly get over there. Uh, I don't think there's anything in this that's like useful. Yeah, it's just a one-up. So it's coins on the other island. Same kind of problem here, and the worst part of this actually is the fact that you have to do like a long jump right when the wind stops like that. It's terrifying. So I don't need the fly guy, but I do need the Goomba. So yeah, I think I'm pretty much on target. Oh, never mind. For, uh, for how many coins I've got. I'm going to do a, like a well-angled wall kick here to get up here. And, yeah, I think this looks good, so, yeah. Uh, there is a post, by the way, on this island down here. You can't really see it, I don't think it's... Actually, maybe it's only the DS one, but I'm going to talk about it anyway. So there's a post on that island in at least one of these games, and sometimes when you run around it, no coins come out. But if you go into the pipe, any of the pipes, and, like, reset the island, then it, like, could work the next time. I mean, like, coming into this area and going back outside will have the same effect. Let's just jump up here and grab the rest of these. So, where's where are those coins that I was talking about before? Let me see. Uh, I think they're like over there, maybe? I'm not sure. Also, I think I did actually collect... Yeah, I def no, I didn't. Ignore me. I don't know what I'm talking about. Uh, for some reason, I thought there were two more red coins, but there's actually just the one up here, which I can't seem to access. Okay, cool. Got it. So there's the 100 coin star. I'll just ground pound under it. And yeah, you can see the coins on, on the other side of the grating there. I'm going to see if I can grab them just for the for the sake of showing it off. So, okay, that's not quite what I wanted. Let's see. Yeah. So, can you grab this out of a wall kick? Let's find out. No, you can't. So, does that work? Nope. Okay, maybe doing it from over here. Will this work? Uh, maybe like a double jump? Nope. Yeah, I think maybe you have to sort of jump on over there, which uh, naturally I'm now going to have to do, because I've started talking about it, so... Yeah, he definitely can't grab that from like a side flip, but you can grab it from a double jump, so let's very slowly, like it's Hazy Maze Cave all over again, although I'm not really sure... Yeah, I did show this in Hazy Maze Cave, that's right, there were those five coins that I would have gotten, so I'm just being very careful to hold down E. I guess Wiggler can't damage you through this. If I let go of A, even for a frame, I'm going to fall down. But here are those other coins that I mentioned. Let's just quickly grab them. Uh, okay. I guess everything I told you before is a lie, because you definitely can't... <laughs> you definitely can't do that. I don't know why I thought that worked, but, um... So I guess, yeah, you would have to get those ones at the end, maybe? Huh. Well, there you go. Anyway, Tiny Huge Island done. Only got 100 coins, it's actually 191 that are attainable. I think I might just go a step beyond and get 192 using the Prana Plant Glitch. Uh, but yeah, I don't really want to do it anymore at this stage for now. I'll probably do it off screen or something. So yeah, thank you all for watching. That's going to be it for this video, and I will see you in the next one.